Muhammad Ashraf. Okay, today we will show you how to conduct a pendulum experiment. But today, uh, our pendulum we change with uh, plasticine. In this experiment, we will find out what are the factors that affect the frequency of the plasticine swing. I will simply explain the end at this experiment, hypothesis, variable, the apparatus, procedure, data, and last but not least, the conclusion. M of the experiment is to determine what factors affect the frequency of the plasticine swing. Hypothesis if the length and mass of the plasticine are changed, then the frequency of the swing will be affected. Variable Manipulated variable is length of the plasticine and mass of the plasticine. Responding variable is the frequency of the swing and constant variable is complete oscillation of the pendulum. The apparatus and material are plasticine, sticky tape, thread, protector, ruler, chopstick, dex, and stopwatch. First, the dex are set and the chopstick is attached using sticky tape. To the death. Second, the thread is tied to the plasticine. The mass of the plasticine is 20 gram. The length of the thread is measured to 30 cm. The other end of the thread is tied around the end of the chopstick so that it can swing freely. Next, with the thread and the plasticine at rest, the plasticine is lifted at 30 degree, ensure that the plasticine swings in a simple plane. The time for 20 complete oscillation of the pendulum is measured using the stopwatch. This step is repeated 3 times and the average of 3 readings are calculated. Frequency of the plasticine swing are calculated by using this formula F equal to 1 over T. The experiment are repeated by using different length 20 cm and 10 cm. First, the thread is tied to the plasticine just like part 1. The mass of the plasticine is 20 gram. The length of the thread is measured to 20 cm. In this part, the length of the plasticine are fixed. The other end of the thread is tied around the end of the chopstick so that it can swing freely. Second, the thread and the plasticine at rest. The plasticine is lifted at a 30 degree and ensure that the plasticine swings in a single plane. Next, the time for 20 complete oscillation of the plasticine is measured using the stopwatch. This part is repeated 3 times and the average of 3 readings are calculated. Frequency of the plasticine swing are calculated by using this formula F equal to 1 over T. The experiment are repeated by using different mass 40 gram and 60 gram. The data are collected. As a conclusion, the mass did not affect the frequency at the swing at all. However, the longer the length of the plasticine, the longer the period of oscillation and the lower the frequency of the swing. So, the hypothesis is not proven valid. 
As precaution, this experiment was carried out in an enclosed room first. And the second one, the fan must be switched off to avoid the influence of wind. Okay, and that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you like this video.